hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel indeed events are overtaking themselves things are getting very edgy and heady uh, don't forget that mazin and Kano's legal team are permitted to visit their client every mondays and every thursdays yesterday was another visit but a drama that ensued cost worry before going to the newspaper to find out exactly what the client or rather the legal team of mazin and Kano is telling the whole world honestly i pray that these things do not go escalate beyond what it is right now we like you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you will see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on youtube well this is actually coming from the lead council to onion do mazin namdekanu ipob that's ifan ejo for esquire himself and this is what he said he said today which was yesterday Today's routine visit to our indefectible client, Oyen Dumas and Amkano, could not hold because the detaining authority, DSS, deliberately denied the above named persons access to our client. Recall that the Honorable Court seized of, uh, seizes of this case had sessioned of this case had on the 21st day of October 2021 expanded the number of persons that could visit our client on any of the designated days scheduled for his routine visit. The Honorable Court proceeded to order in his ruling that henceforth three persons of our client's choice should be allowed to visit him. His lordship further clarified that the persons to visit our client are no longer restricted to his lawyers and family members but any other person of our client's choice. In line with this order of court, we forwarded the list of names scheduled to visit our client on Monday, the 25th of October 2021, which included Athony Bruce Fain, our client's international attorney and legal representative in the United States of America. Attorney Fain arrived in Nigeria from the United States of America to witness the court proceedings of the 21st day of October 2021 and also utilized the opportunity of the visit to interface with his client Oyendu Mazen Namdekano. Unknown to us, a rude shock awaited us at, at the DSS. Upon arrival at the DSS headquarters on Monday, the 25th October 2021, for the scheduled routine visit, the detaining authority, the detaining authority did not stop at keeping us waiting for well over two hours, but thereafter specifically told us that no foreigner including Bruce Fain, will be allowed to visit our client. And as such, he will not participate in the visit. The renowned international constitutional human rights lawyer was not only disappointed with the authority concerned, but was shocked at the brazen manner in which the Nigerian court orders are flouted with impunity by those whose primary mandate is to protect and preserve these laws and even maintain order. Anthony Bruce Fenn consequently left the premises of the DSS visibly, visibly broken. Apparently, he had gathered enough to feed the international community upon his return to the United States. Today was the turn of the British Council to experience what the civilized society may refer to as the height of abnormality in the system. The innocent woman who flew all the way from Lagos on this special diplomatic engagement was denied access to her client and told that she is not welcome for the visit because she is a foreigner. His Excellency, Dr. Chukwu Emeka Izife, who was denied access to the court, to the courtroom at the last court sitting, was also denied access to her clients today without offering any reasons. Height of impunity, indeed, he wrote. It's important to point out here that the order of court with regard to the number of persons and class of persons allowed to visit a client never restricted them to Nigerians only. It is more so that this clarification was made by his lordship following our specific complaint to the court that Anthony Pros Fain was not only denied access to our client on two occasions at the DSS headquarters but was not allowed inside the courtroom on the 21st October 2021. If his lordship attention or rather, if his lordship's intention was to restrict foreigners from visiting our client, the court would have simply made it clear while responding to application for clarification. 
though we have promptly filed another application for transfer of our client to the correctional center pre predicated on an entirely new set of facts, it is now crystal clear to the world that if the DSS is allowed to remain the custodian of our client, there shall certainly be gross denial of fair hearing and fair trial in these proceedings. We will equally be initiating contempt proceedings against the head of the DSS for this gross violation of court order. Order of the court must be obeyed regardless of the status of the persons involved or the agencies affected by the order. Even though the DSS has a history of flouting court orders with impunity, we will pursue for the court to step in, in this case, and protect the sanctity of its order and orders. Enough is enough. We shall leave no stone unturned in ensuring that this weighty infraction of the positive order of court and by extension gross violation of our client's right is addressed without further ado. We still appeal to our client's millions of followers to please remain calm as we explore all legal remedies available to our client in the circumstances of this breach. Your prayers and supplications should be intensified in times like this. And please do not lose focus, Omochineke, because the enemies are really at work. But be assured that it will all end in praises. Thank you all and remain hugely blessed. Omochineke, signed Ifani Ejofo, Esquire, Lead Counsel to Nyendo Mazen Namdekanu, IPOB, Indigenous People of Biafra. Now this is not nice enough honestly it's worrisome and in some some hours ago actually uh, the uh, nigerian military uh, federal government actually acquired 60 new 60 as in s-i-x-t-y 60 new armored vehicles from china i now wonder. that i just hope that we don't have a situation in our hands let this whole vehicles they're talking about let it please end with the them fighting insurgents, please. But looking at what um, the lead counsel have said, if the court have given order that three persons in no particular order doesn't necessarily have to be family, doesn't have to, doesn't necessarily have to be the legal team, any one person that can chooses for crying out loud, allow them because if you don't, the image the image they will carry and go out there in the international community. My God, I don't think Nigeria will recover from it anytime soon. Imagine Bruce Fain having first-hand knowledge. This is not something they say in reporter's speech. He saw, he witnessed, he felt. And you think, he, when he goes out there to grant interview, he will begin to quote words. He will say it the way it is, if not even more terribly so. If it's this law, why are, well, there's no reason to be scared of Mazen Namdekano having access to his international lawyer. Let him have a see and let them see. It's, it's all is fair. Let's meet in the comment section. Honestly, the way it is going, it is well with this country.